A lot of old Winnipeg Jets jerseys were dusted off today and a lot of memories revived. Thousands of Winnipeggers went down to the old arena not to see a game but to say goodbye to a hockey landmark. A decade after the team passed into history, its old home followed. Well, almost. More from CTV's Jill Makashan. For 50 years, fans raised the roof at the old Winnipeg Arena. Five, four. Sunday, they gathered to watch Dynamite do it. Fire to all. 200 kilos of explosives should have brought it down, but the main cement pillars stood tall. The skeleton of the old barn refused to bend. Uh, it doesn't want to die. I guess it wants to hang on a little longer. Fitting somehow that this building seemed to fight back. A reflection of the determination, the grit of the hockey fans who once cheered here. And faintly in the background, they did once again. The Winnipeg Jets, once the pride of this city, this was their kingdom. Built in 1955, the Winnipeg Arena was the place where hockey great Bobby Hall once played, in later years, Howarchuk and Solani. The place where the team scored its first NHL goal. The puck is fed out to McIver, he should score! And its last. In 1996, despite huge rallies and protests, the Winnipeg Jets were sold. A new minor league hockey team was born. And eventually, a new arena was built. So it was pretty special. Joe Daly was goalie for the Jets in 1972. He refused to watch the demolition Sunday morning. It was too difficult. I was getting emotional at that time uh, when, the, when the players were waving goodbye to the fans, so uh, this would be just as bad. In the end, with a mighty tug, the old barn fell. The last monument to Winnipeg's NHL history gone, but memories will last longer than steel and mortar. Jill Makish on CTV News, Winnipeg.